was complimentary on your development as a as a leader. Can you address uh, if that's been a focus for you, and do you, do you feel you're you've improved in that area? Um, I think for a quarterback, that's always kind of a focus. You know, you're always typically looked at as a leader of the offense and those sort of things. So I think it comes with the kind of position, and you you grow into that. The more games you play, and uh, the more time you spend with the team, you just kind of grow into that position. Have you worked with Trey McGuire so much now that it's almost hard to believe you haven't played a real game with him? Uh, no, I mean, we, I haven't played a real game with him, but we've worked a lot. But um, it's always a little different in the game, and I'm sure there will be a couple things that, that show up that we'll have to talk about on the sideline. But um, I, I feel like we're on the same page, and uh, we're to the point now that we can go out and play a game together. What, I mean, not to give away your game plan, but what are your concerns just generally with a new guy like that the first time he's on the field? Just the experience. You know, it's, you don't know how a person's going to react when there's a lot of people watching and his emotions are going up and down. Games are just so much different than practice, you know, so it's, I think it's just one of those experience things that makes you a little nervous, but I'm sure he'll do a great job for us. Bob spent some time when he was here talking about uh, you know, discipline issues, culture issues, and lots of the people who were perpetrating them are no longer here. Um, do you have a sense that there was a culture issue with the program and that it's been addressed, alleviated, whatever? Or um, I don't know. I think that's more a Coach Stoops. Um, question than a player you know but um, those guys that uh, aren't around anymore they 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 weren't doing the things that were necessary for them to do to stay around so um, we kind of moved on without them well how about this do you feel like this team is doing the right things uh, strong in the intangibles that help you put a good team out on the field I think so I think we're moving in the right direction right now um, it's the first week of game practice, so uh, we'll see where we go from here. But just as far as right now, we're definitely on the right track. Landry, along those lines, do you, do you see beyond what, what Clay asked about this team, did this team learn from lessons last year, not just on the field, but off the field as well? Guys that may have, uh, like you said, not here anymore, uh, you guys moved on. Does this team learn those lessons, like showing up on time to meetings, Coach Stoops said, stuff like that? Yeah, uh, it's it's definitely gone down for sure. Um, like I said, I, I feel like we're moving in the right direction just as far as discipline-wise and um, guys being on time and guys really taking advantage of the little things. Landry, is it, is it hard for you to come off the field? I, I know that Blake had a lot of success in those short yard situations, and I know you want the team to win and <coughs> put the best foot forward, but is it is it frustrating to come off the field? Um, See, you know, like as a leader and as as a competitor, you want to be the guy that leads your team to the end zone. So, I mean, yes, it is a little frustrating to to come off the field and do those things. But I mean, like I said, we're we're out the at the end of the day, we're out to win the game. You know, that's that's what the Sooners are for, and that's what we're trying to do. You know, so whatever makes us win, that's what we're going to do, and that's what I'm for. Have you ever gone to Coach Duke said lead me in? No. I mean, during a game, it's just you're, you're going too fast, and a uh, play gets called, and you have 40 seconds to run it. So you, someone goes in, you come out, and that's just the way it is. Landry, by all accounts, you're a better quarterback than you were the last time you took a snap. Can you talk about if that's true and what you've done to, to get there? Yeah, I think just uh, mobility is something that I've really kind of worked on, um, moving around in the pocket. Um, being able to throw on the run and throw in tighter spaces is definitely one thing that I kind of focus on this uh, off season. Landry, uh, Coach Stoops just said as many as 11 or 12 true freshmen are going to play this season. How would you compare this true freshman class to the one two years ago with Millard and Finch and Stills and those guys? Um, similar, uh, as far as talent-wise, um, a little different. Um, 
I think um, as far as just like speed and, and kind of explosiveness, there are going to be a lot of freshmen that play. Um, and they're going to be guys that are going to be great football players. Um, but it's, I think it's just a little difference because we had like Kenny and Roy, you know, guys that are really quick and shifty. And now we got someone like Sterling Shepard who's going to be more of, of playing a little bit more physical, I think, um, being able to make catches in traffic. So I think that those are the small differences I see and the differences in the classes, I think. Do you think this is more physical freshman class and the other one maybe is a little more a little quicker, a little faster? Yeah, they're they're really similar, but I think if if you look at a class as a whole, maybe a little bit more just as far as wide receivers go, maybe a little bit more physical class and then other positions it's it's pretty similar in those areas too. Can you talk about the, the time you have back and forth with Sterling Shepherd and uh, from what everybody says about him, maybe you've had a flashback or two to a certain guy you as your receiver last year. Um yeah, he he does remind you of of Ryan uh a little bit. Um they're they're different enough where you can kind of tell them apart though, you know. So, um Sterling has a similar game to Ryan, but they're not all the same. I think Ryan might have been um a little bit more shifty uh than Sterling, but Sterling has more size than Ryan, I think. Can you develop a rapport with the receivers? You've got some new guys in practice that have to happen in games. Like, you're in line when it's 35, and like you guys always hooked up. Is that something you develop in the game, or can you do it in practice? You can do that in practice, for sure. It depends how well you're practicing and what you're practicing on, but you can definitely develop that in practice. Has your chemi chemistry with the receivers been any better since the end of last season after losing Ryan? Yeah, I mean, you just get time to work with them, you know. The more time you get to work with those guys, the better your relationship comes with them. Andrew, when you decided to come back, it was obviously for a lot of reasons, but ultimately to play football, and now that the season's about to start, have you sensed your approach or how you feel going into the opener? Has it been any different than maybe your past? Uh, maybe a little different. I think there might be more focus just because you realize it is kind of your last year, you know, so. Um, <coughs> I think maybe that's just a little different. I think that just comes with age and realizing that it's kind of your last year to play. Are you, are you motivated? I mean, I know everybody's motivated to win every game, but the fact that you said no to the NFL and you came back, I mean, is winning sort of at even a higher premium for you this year? Yeah, I mean, this is my last time to put on an OU jersey, you know, so definitely want to go out the way I wanted to uh, go out. Lander, can you talk about Roy Finch and his move to the slot? And you know, that, that your your uh, relationship with Ryan is just almost all. <coughs> He's a different cat in that position. Can you talk about that? Yeah, uh, a little smaller, um, really explosive, really shifty. Um, just for trying to make a matchup problems with some of those linebackers out there. Um, he's been doing a really good job of working in there for us, and I'm sure we'll we'll move him around and and use him in different ways as well. Good hands and you're comfortable with him. Yeah, he's he's good hands. Uh, always was good out of the backfield catching, so he'll be fine in there. He'll do a good job. Landry, the things you worked on in the summer, the footwork, the the playmaking outside the pocket, has it really manifested itself this preseason? Or are you kind of eager to see how it translates into an actual game too? Uh, I think it definitely has manifested itself this preseason, but you never know till you really get into the game and game modes of how well you're really moving and if guys can actually sack you, you know, because in practice they just go by and, and if they get a hand on you, you're sacked, you know, so um, we'll see in the game, I think. The game will be kind of the true test of yeah. how much it's paid off. Mm -hmm. Were there any discussions between you and Kenny after last season about, you know, him wanting to play the slot, you wanting him to play the slot? I mean, it seems like that provides you a real comfort level having an experienced guy there. It was kind of just, it was kind of the way it worked out. You know, we had a lot of guys moving around in different positions, and Kenny was the guy with the most experience and the best feel in the slot. So that was kind of where it went from there, and he just kind of got stuck there. And now um, he's doing a great job of, of playing inside, and um, I'm sure we'll still move him around like everybody else, but uh, I think he'll be predominantly the slot. Will that make him see more balls simply by virtue of the fact that? You've been in the habit of throwing probably more balls for the past three seasons to the slot receiver because it was Ryan. So does it make it easier on you that he's in the slot? 
I don't know. I, I, uh, I don't, I don't know if it necessarily will make it easier on me, but, um, I think Kenny just has a really good feeling there and he's going to cause some people to play differently against him for, uh, his speed, um, and athletic ability. So I think he might see more balls come his way. Um, it, uh, I don't really know. We'll, like I said, we'll have to see what the game calls for, you know. What are your expectations for the offense with all the unknowns on that side of the ball? I mean, I, I expect us to be a great offense, you know. If you're not going into the year and expecting yourself to be a great offense, then what are you really doing? You know, so I expect it to be great, and I expect us to be able to run the ball and, and throw it around a little bit. As a quarterback, do you, does it give you a better sense of comfort having an experienced running back like Brennan Clay? In, in other words, does he add a lot more to the offense that people <coughs> see sometimes just by looking at how many yards per carry he has? Yeah, I think in protection he's great. You know, that's one of the things I think maybe people overlook with uh, Brennan or, or Dom and, and just those guys who's played a lot of football, you know. So I think those those things are, are going to be big for us, to, for them to bring that experience into the offense. What do you expect from, from Dom? I mean, apparently you can't go through what he did without having an atroph atrophied, you know, lower part of your leg and the explosion and the things that he had last year. Just, just wondered what you expect and what you've seen. I mean, he looks, he looks like the old Dom and not limping, running full speed, you know. So I think he's going to be the same player that you saw last year. Mm -hmm. Utah quarterback came up and, and said, kind of pointed you out and said he wanted to outplay you on on Saturday. Do you hear any of that stuff? I heard it today. <laughs> Does that register anywhere with you? Do what? Does that kind of register anywhere with you? And I'm going to go out there and try to play Oklahoma football. That's that's what I'm here for, and that's what we're going to try to do. So I'm not out trying to outplay anybody. I'm just trying to go out and win the game. Is it all a comparison of Ryan and Sterling? Do you know, have the two of them talked, or did, has Sterling talked to you about watching Ryan all the time, or what? Mm -hmm. He hasn't. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they've talked. He hasn't said anything to me about it, though. And talking with your teammates about you know, how they plan on spending that game day with it being such a late kickoff. We got a couple of favorite TV shows or a movie that they plan on watching. Do you have anything you like to do if it's a late night game? And how difficult is that? It's you just feel like you sit around all day, you know. So I don't know. I'll, I'll read my Bible or, or do something like that and try to calm myself down and kind of get into my playbook a little bit. Watching the other games. Yeah, if there's a if there's a good one on, I'll, I'll flick it on and, and watch it a little bit. Uh, Landry, some of the guys said you're a little more vocal this year. Do you see that? And if so, how's that transition been? Um, for me, I haven't really noticed it much, but um, obviously the guys has been noticing it. So um, I think it's just confidence and knowing kind of what you want and setting those expectations. Landry, any regret not turning pro since the NFL seems to Hand a starting job to every rookie. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. You followed that, any? I think five rookies are starting opening day, and, and never more than two before this year. Yeah, I, I haven't really followed it too much, but um, yeah, I don't have any regrets on on not going. Getting married gonna make you a better player. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs>